Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal, hey, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets, or should we say US markets, for the afternoon session for the 14th of December 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, so let's look into the uh, the actual markets. Let's see where we stand uh, and let's see which direction we're headed. You can say download the uh, Trade Signal app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of yesterday, the uh, US markets uh, finishing uh, uh, well towards the weak side uh, after initially rallying up to on the S&P to 2670, which I'll discuss. Nasdaq as well, certainly giving back its gains, given the fact that the uh, FOMC certainly raised rates. And uh, also we had the uh, tax bill, so more or less uh, on Mr. Trump's table to sign. So certainly progress being made there, which in turn has helped the uh, equity markets. Asian markets today certainly finishing lower, certainly not liking the uh, the actual FOMC decision. And obviously uh, it certainly seems like the tax uh, progress certainly seems to be baked in. Now let's look at the uh, the Dow. The Dow remains bullish given the fact that obviously we broke it out to new highs. So again, you have to respect that. The bulls certainly remain in control there. Obviously the volume certainly is good as well. In terms of the Dow Transportation Index, that certainly is lagging. So uh, for, for me, uh, I need a new high in the Dow Transports in order to uh, obviously believe the new high in the Dow. So again, that certainly is a warning uh, signal for me. Okay, and certainly keep an eye on that too, as well. Okay, so moving on to the S&P 500 now, let's move on to the S&P. Uh, looking at the weekly chart, the S&P certainly remains bullish, so one can certainly, it's very hard to argue to the contrary there. Okay, daily chart of the S&P 500, again, you had a bearish uh, uh, engulfing candle with strong volume as well. So again, certainly exercise caution, that new high isn't exactly very uh, uh, convincing to me. Uh, let's just cross-reference that with the Russell 2000 again. No new high in the Russell. If you look at the weekly chart, the Russell, the bearish engulfing candle, certainly a warning signal for all. Okay, bear that in mind. Daily chart as well, certainly not making a new high, uh, indicating weaknesses. Just about broke above the last previous high, and we've been struggling ever since. So from my perspective, the, uh, the S&P new high certainly is very circumspect and should be treated with an immense amount of suspicion. That's my interpretation anyway. Moving on to the 60-minute chart of the Euro Russell 2000, you can certainly see we have a potential setup here for a reversal lower with a H&S formation potentially pending, a lower high as well. We need to see some convincing movement higher in order, in order to uh, uh, obviously uh, believe or have faith in the actual rally in the S&P. Now, if you look at the S&P 500, a 60-minute chart, we did break to new highs, but we rejected and we actually closed below. So that certainly isn't a good sign. Obviously, this H&S formation has been negated. Now, we have a potential unfilled gap below, which is at 2637. So again, watch out below. That's what I can say with regards to that. A 10-minute chart on the S&P 500. You can see here we put a double top in at 2671. Certainly isn't a bullish sign. Post to FOMC, we certainly, certainly sold off. We closed the gap below. And now we're, we're certainly looking at a potential uh, a, a move lower as well. Any setup here now, if you have a potential H&S, so you have the left shoulder here around the 26.68. Uh, you have the head that's been put in at double top, 26.71. Any potential move uh, on the right-hand side here for a right shoulder, looking to flush lower, looking to potentially test 26.60, 26.55 potentially as well. So watch out for those zones. And also, like I said, you have that unfilled gap at 26.37 if there is any bearish, obviously, uh, outcome. So... Again, exercise caution. That's all I can say with regards to that exercise extreme caution. Okay, so that's basically where we stand in terms uh, of the S&P. That's uh, basically a status quo. Now, let's cross reference that with the VIX. The VIX daily chart certainly is seeing some life now, starting to potentially show some life on the daily chart. 60 minute chart certainly attempting to build a base here as well. Let's go to the 10 minute chart. Again, you've not made no lows on the end the VIX. So again, that should be a warning signal to everyone. We did push higher to the S yesterday to gap fill. Okay, let's see if we can break out. If we break out on the VIX, then you are looking at potential gap fill above. You've got the 200 MA as well. So the VIX certainly is indicating that we are seeing a, a potential top forming here. So we need to exercise extreme caution. That's basically what the VIX is telling me at present. Okay, in terms of the rest of the market, uh, let's just quickly uh, cross-reference it with the uh, biotechs. Biotech 60-minute chart, double top, daily chart at the moment, exhausted, certainly holding gap fill. Certainly not moving any higher there, so uh, certainly paused. In terms of the uh, NASDAQ cross referencing that with the semiconductors as well, let's look at the semicon. Semicons is not exactly showing any signs of life here. 60 minute chart certainly remains lackluster as well. Let's cross reference that with NASDAQ. The NASDAQ looking at the daily chart, we've helped, we've closed or gone into that gap fill. Uh, certainly double top held, no new, new high. Uh, again, that indicates a weakness and exhaustion to me. You've got a rising contracting wedge pattern, you have potential unfilled gaps below at 6344. 
and 63.15. So looking for weakness below 10 minute chart as well, indicating weakness at double top 64.15. Looking for gap fill initially at 63.83 on the downside. So that's basically the level that I'd be looking at below. Okay, if you break through that, then there are all the levels to take into account as well. You've got 60.45, like I said. You've got potential support being seen here, previous resistance equals support uh, around the 63.70 zone. So watch out below. Okay, so SP double top, NASDAQ double top. Uh, uh, Dow Transport's double top or holding resistance uh, with the topping tail. It's something the Dow that's made a new high and that uh, again is circumspect. Russell 2000 not exactly very convincing either. I, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly on the on the on the bearish side at, at this juncture. Okay, uh, and that's basically where I stand, especially with Asian equities not following through as well. Okay, so I think that's a good summation in terms of uh, uh, the market itself. Uh, the rest of the day in terms of economic data, you've got retail sales, jobless claims. Uh, import export prices let's see how the market obviously uh, uh, moves dollar index certainly needs to be one to watch out for given the fact that we've raised rates dollars certainly remains supported on that note please be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers download the latest app and be sure to uh, visit cfds.com to take advantage of that bonus goodbye now